Yo, these things do not work. They don't work. It's got one. First fish of the day. All right, I'll see you later, buddy. Today, we're fishing at Venice Pier. We are trying to catch some perch. For the bait, I brought some shrimp. I also bought some Berkeley Gulps Sandworm Series. It's the camo green and red. We'll put on some gloves because these things stink. And uh, we'll put on the hook and then show you guys how it is. Here's my weight. It's a one ounce sinker. All the way up about, probably like about six inches from that weight is my first hook. I got a little float here so that it floats you know, in the wind, so it's not like dangling over here. Just wanted to float. And then up a little bit higher is the other hook, and then it's connected to another float. So let's toss it out there and let's catch some fish. So I'm tossing it right where the waves break. I'm not casting it out far because there's people. Oh, I already got a fish. Never mind, false alarm. So I'm not casting out very far because there's people swimming up here and then there's a couple surfers kind of making their way down. I'm trying to stick as close to the pier as possible so as not to hook anybody. The waves break off on that side over there and then it kind of just washes all the way over here. And I didn't want to toss it too far because there's surfers over there. You know, like there's people swimming. So I wanted to cast over here where the white water is. Usually that's uh, where surf perch are swimming around. Where the waves break, it turns up the sand and it brings those uh, little, you know, those mussels, those um, little crustaceans out from the sand and it kind of washes them up in this area. So I'm hoping that if I leave my bait here, we'll catch the perch swimming around. You always get a bite when you're not looking. So I like to look away from my rod. I'm very hopeful we'll catch something. But we'll see. If we don't catch anything in the next 10 to 15 minutes, we're gonna switch to shrimp and see if we can catch something with shrimp. The waves are so strong, it brings my line around this way and it, I don't want it wrapping around the pillars. So I just set up my rod over here and I casted it just right there, right where this, uh, you know, this corner is. Did you catch anything? Nah, not yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping for some perch. Shrimp. A shrimp will never let you down. All right. Y'all ready for some fish? Here we go. Come on, just go for it. Okay, that's a wave, that's a wave. I'll just wait. So I'm gonna set up this rod right here. So this is my Shimano Aeroglass, very cheap, you know, affordable rod. And I'm pairing it up with this reel that I bought from my local tackle shop. It's, it's not a brand name type of reel like Shimano or Daiwa, but uh, I like it, it does the job. Nah, it doesn't break the bank either, so it was only $50. So I'm running a 15 pound mono to it and what I want to do with this rod, so when I catch some bait fish, maybe if I catch a mackerel today, I'm gonna use a bottom rig or a Carolina rig to catch some bigger fish. See where the waves are breaking right here? So the waves are breaking too close, too far over there, so I'm trying to get closer to where the sandbar is. And it's right where that pillar is, right over there. So I'm gonna go over there. It's got one. Okay. I literally just set it down and I got one. Yeah, man. All right. It's a yellowfin croaker. Yep. Thanks, man. First fish of the day. First fish of the day. Oh, okay. Did it go? Yeah, first one. Uh, I think it's a croaker. A croaker? Yeah. Oh, okay, man. That's yeah. dope, bro. Thanks, man. There you go. All right, guys. First fish of the day. I didn't even finish setting up the other camera. I had to use the GoPro. All right. I'll see you later, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, let's go. <laughs> Oh, that felt good. That felt so good. I knew I was right. I knew it. I threw down the line just to just to have it out there, and I caught a fish like within two seconds. So I'm gonna toss it out here again, and again, not too far because they're surfers. I don't want to hit any of them. And then honestly, dude, you just wait, and then it's gonna be here. All right, let's put on the bell, and then watch this rod dip. It's gonna be amazing. Watch, watch. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna look over here. I can feel it already. It's coming up. Oh man, I feel so, I was so right. I was like, if I just go to where the waves are breaking a little bit closer, you know, a little bit further from the beach, that's where the fish are. And I was so right. I was, I'm a genius. Watch, watch, it's doing it again. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. That's it, that's fish. Let's go, let's go. Wait, no. Okay, here we go. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, a little tiny, uh, what is this? Uh, a little tiny smelt. Oh, yeah. On the shrimp. On the shrimp. All right. Let's see, am I recording? All right, so I am going to hook it up. All right, I'm going to hook it up, and I'm going to toss this out there. All right, buddy. Your turn. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this one. I'm gonna catch something big. Leave that alone, I'm gonna leave it alone. And then this one, I gotta rebate. Oh guys, it feels so good. Two, that's two, two different species too. Just to make sure, We're still good. I'm gonna put a bell on this. You know what? I'm gonna try the Berkeley Gulp again. It stinks guys, it smells so bad, but that's what the fish like so let's hope we get some some bites out of this one man I was so right ah oh, it's so good okay good all right and then let's toss this one over here all right man catch me another one let's fucking go all right leave that there and then let's put on another bell. Oh shit. I think I caught something on this one. Oh fuck. Or it, just, it might just be the fish that I had earlier. Oh no, it's still the fish. All right. So this one we'll toss a little bit further out. That way. Just let it swim, you know? Just let it swim. Nothing crazy. Oh man. Oh, we're gonna catch another one. We'll fish here for another 30 minutes and then we'll go further down and see if we can catch some mackerel. Oh, they're out there, guys. <laughs> yeah, no fish. Not on this one. Not yet. Let's go. Come on, guys. I feel it. I feel it. buddy Berkeley Gulf bro don't let me down all right if you don't catch anything the next 10 minutes we're gonna switch back to shrimp shrimp will never let you down I'm telling you put on these sleeves come on Berkeley Gulf oh no. That's not and then I'm gonna also put on my buff cuz I'm getting sunburned actually I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm gonna tan my head I'm gonna get an even tan. I usually have a tan line because of my hat. I'll leave it off for now. Oh, feels good. Feels fucking good. I swear, Berkeley Gulp, on the YouTube videos that I watch, they always work, but for some reason, right here in SoCal, they don't work. How do I look? Sick or not? Nah? Back to shrimp. You let me down, Berkeley Gulp. Can't believe you. They don't work. All 
All right, guys, five more minutes in the spot and we're done. Let's rebait, recast. Bait, you cut off the head. <laughs> I thought I hit a surfer. Cut a little tease, just like that. Put it on the hook. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Fish on, fish on, let's go. Oh, yep. No, no, I lost it. Oh, what is this? It's a perch? Getting a bite. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, this one's big. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I caught a crab. Y'all see that? Oh yeah. Caught another jack smelt. Not bad, not bad. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great time making it. If you guys want to see more fishing videos, subscribe to the channel. And also, I would appreciate it if you guys hit that like button because every like helps and it gets my videos out to more people. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.